I'm Douglas Gordon. We're here in Cumbria and we're about to, believe it or not, burn a grand piano. The End of Civilization was commissioned by uh, Great Northern Culture and Locust Plus to form part of uh, Great Northern Culture's annual uh, programme. It's also forming part of the London 2012 Festival. Everybody's asking me why, 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 why the piano? Um, it's a kind of evidence of the, maybe the height of Western civilization in a way. Not only is it a beautiful musical instrument, it's also a fantastic uh, object in itself. It's like a sculpture. And what with this being a funny old Olympic year, with the flames traveling up and down the country, um, I thought it would be quite, uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't be as straightforwardly triumphant to do something like this. I wanted a bit of a clash between the triumphalism of fire as a beacon of hope or a beacon of uh, warning, I suppose. One of the reasons why we really chose this piece of uh, landscape was because this is the end of civilization. If we take the idea of civilization as where the Roman Empire got to, uh, you know, I wasn't, I'm not from here, I'm from over the wall. And I suppose I wanted to poke the viewer a little bit harder to make them think about what civilization is. Douglas Gordon has reached a time in his career when mid career retrospectives are taking place around the world and finding the opportunity and the time to invite him to the northeast to make a new work here that would then tour internationally uh, was a stroke of luck and uh, good fortune. We're using two cameras here. Uh, one is a constant 360 degree shot and then the other camera is a handheld and much much closer to the so-called action. The way that I'm envisaging this is to show both of those cameras separately, not even on a split screen, but actually a kind of a disembodied pair of screens, so that the very tranquil and calm uh, images that are coming from the 360 degrees will kind of uh, have a contradictory vibe to the handheld, which is very rough and very close to the, the fire. The beautiful thing that can happen is that the they look films which are entirely independent of each other, but as the 360 is happening, you get the occasional puff of smoke that comes up and you realize that what appears to be very serene and tranquil on the surface is actually a raging hellish fire down below.